Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. And if you're returning, I love you so much for your support. It means the world to me. Um, please make sure you guys like this video if it resonates with you. That helps get the video out for other Aquarius. So um, this is your love reading, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 8th through the 15th. Um, and before we get started, I did pull three cards uh, from Work Your Light Oracle. And I like these cards because I feel like they can give us a nice soul message. Uh, let us know what you've been going through on the inside <clears throat> or what you've been noticing. So again, this is for November 8th through the 15th. Um, the first card we have is the Ever Unfolding Rose, Boundaries, and Warrior Woman. Um, warrior woman can also be for a man. So <clears throat> let me tell you what I'm seeing here. I feel like you are recognizing or will begin to recognize this week how situations are happening for you. Okay. You're no longer coming, um, from the perspective of victim. Okay. You're removing the rose colored glasses and you're starting to realize, you know, that when something happens, that's okay because I'm learning from it and you're beginning to realize that it's taking you to another level, okay? That you're accelerating or evolving to the next level in your life. Um, but in learning that and in understanding that, you're now, you're now figuring out where you need to um, place... Uh, where you need to place boundaries, okay? Where do you need to establish boundaries? Uh, because <clears throat> as you're starting to see things from a different perspective, Aries, I'm realizing that you're kind of like, hey, wait a minute, I didn't like that. Why did I let that happen? Or why am I still involved in this situation when it's not providing me with anything? What am I gaining from this situation? I'm not gaining anything from this situation. Um, and then it's, you know, warrior woman. So I really feel like this is the basis of what's happening here because to me what I'm getting, the energy that I'm getting from this card for you is you're coming into your power. And that's going to tie in with boundaries um, and really letting us know that you are recognizing and realizing that you hold the key to your future, right? You, you are in charge and by setting your boundaries and by not overreacting to situations and recognizing that things happen for you to learn something you step into your power and you begin to shed old layers that no longer um that are no longer needed in your life because you have somewhere bigger and better to go okay so that's what i have for um this week with the work your light so let's go ahead and check on your love. Again, this is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Holy Spirit, what do we have in a love connection for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 8th through the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, thank you. All right, what do we have here? Okay, quite a few cards here. You're feeling blocked. You're feeling trapped. No, you're ending the you're ending cycles. That's what you're doing. You have the world with the Eight of Swords and then the Star Aquarius, you have you. Of course, you came out. So powerful. I love my Aquarians. Okay. So let's get the full picture here. Okay. Okay. Because you've been through some things in the past, you've been through some pain. Okay. You have a possible Scorpio here in your future. <clears throat> or not. Doesn't have to be a Scorpio. Okay, you, like I said, it's tying into your, it's tying into the work your light reading here, um, Aquarius. You're ending the cycle of feeling trapped and bound by your thoughts, things that were keeping you in the past, things that were holding you hostage. 
things that were not bringing you the happiness that you wanted, okay? Um, and that's because you went within. We have the star here. This is happening, like I said, because your perception is changing. <clears throat> Forgive me, I dropped a card here. Your perception is changing. Hold me on, let me get it. Oh my gosh, I have nails, so it's like super hard to pick these up. Um, okay, your perception is changing. Um, because you were connecting, you were connecting to the divine, you were connecting to your intuition regarding this situation. Keep in mind, yes, this is a love situation, but it could be a friendship, a family member, it could even be an intimate connection. But you, you gained a lot of uh, intuitive messages from the divine by connecting to yourself that is helping you heal from this heartache or from this pain that was in the past because there is some pain in the past here with the five of cups okay this was very difficult for you i feel like there was a lot of heartbreak from this person okay in the past and it's it's taken you a long time to get to this level okay um it's taken you a long time to kind of break through these mental barriers with this eight of wands that was keeping you held back and chained back because you firmly believed that that's what it was. And then now you're coming to this, excuse me, so sorry. <laughs> oh, at least I'm me. Um, but it's like you came to this, this realization that I don't, I don't need to be held back. I don't need to be, you know, stuck in this energy. Um, and you're healing from the heartache. And that's why we have the high priestess. So I want you to understand, Aquarius, that what's coming into you right now, what's crowning your energy? Forgive me, something was on my phone. What's crowning your energy, Aquarius, is the high priestess. You are about to go through um, a very spiritual transition, um, a lot of growth. I feel like a lot of gifts are going to be given to you, a lot of spiritual and intuitive gifts, okay? Um, and you're becoming very, um, you're becoming very connected. You're becoming very connected to your intuition. Okay. Um, and you're just going with the flow. You're releasing things. You're releasing yourself. You're releasing yourself from anything that held you back so that you can, be in that free flow of energy, okay? And so that you can um, receive the blessings that you're supposed to be receiving. I feel like this connection can be something, you know, very meaningful. In the future, we have Scorpio, we have the death card. So there is some sort of transition, okay, happening for you, a uh, rebirth in this connection, making the decision, should I stay or should I go? Um, I have the Six of Swords. So you are moving towards something. I feel like you're moving towards a celebration. Because you've been waiting a very long time for this. You've been waiting a very long time for this. Let, let me clarify this real quick. Holy Spirit, why is a death card here? Please clarify the death card. We have messages as the outcome. So I do feel like somebody's going to reach out to you. I mean, these are spiritual messages too, intuitive messages, intuitive hits. So, but I feel like this is this person uh, reaching out as well. So Holy Spirit, why is the death card here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, there you are, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're changing your perception on things. Holy Spirit, no clarification, please. You're changing, that's why we have the Queen of Swords. You're coming into something wiser, okay? You're evolving to the next level, like I said, coming in wiser. After a lot of hard work. Okay, let's see. I want to see what the Six of Swords is. Holy Spirit, thank you. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving towards... So this person is from your past, Aquarius. 
And I feel like you're moving towards them. Could be a fire sign or they have fire in their chart. But I feel like you're moving back towards this person. At one point, like I said, there's heartbreak here. You're nervous though about moving back towards them because of the burden. You're worried that it's gonna like, you know, it's that the past is just too heavy to bear. You don't know if you can, you don't know if you can move forward. It, I think it's very difficult for you to let go of some things here. You're learning how to let go though. You are learning how to let go because you do want to be with this person. Holy Spirit, why is the Eight of Wands here for Aquarius in the Love Connection, November 8th or the 15th? Thing. Wild lovers. Gemini, you could be dealing with a Gemini Aquarius. Messages of love are coming in from this. They want to be with you. This person wants to be with you or you want to be with them. Um, but it's you've been waiting for such a long time. You're feeling trapped. Somebody... Somebody could be, you know, somebody could, with this, somebody could be away. Somebody's trapped. Somebody's not near, you know, that could be what this Eight of Swords is too. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Wands. There's a huge reconciliation coming forward here with this Lover's card. So you do have a connection. Messages coming in of healing and connecting. This is destined so karma's coming in and giving you this connection it is a reconciliation it's very passionate um there is a lot of love in this connection and i do see like moving forward okay and a lot of celebration with the three of cups okay aquarius that's all that i'm getting for you today thank you so much for coming to my channel. If this message resonated with you, please uh, check out my Etsy link below if you're interested in a personal reading. It's $35 for 30 minutes. I always go over 30 minutes and prices go up November 15th to $60 uh, for 30 minutes. So make sure you get your readings booked before the 15th and I'll see you guys after the 15th and we'll see what happens here with this connection. Much love. Bye.